Ron Swanson once said, when it comes to bacon, be prepared. And, well, actually I'm a vegetarian and I don't eat bacon, but I do agree with Ron that preparation is very important, which is why today I'm going to be unpacking my wedding photographer EDC emergency kit pouch thing. TM. I bring this little pouch with me to every wedding that I photograph, and I love having all of the things inside of it on hand for those just-in-case moments. And no, there is no bacon in it. Bacon. Before I open this up, just to give you an idea of why I've made something like this, uh, the reality is wedding photographers are in the client service industry, first and foremost, and everything that I've put in here allows me to make my life easier, but more importantly, my client's life easier. And that's why I've chosen all the things that are inside of this, is really to go above and beyond in my job of serving them. So first things first, the pouch itself. Uh, this is the Maxpedition Micro Pocket Organizer. Uh, I bought it for about $17 on Amazon, but you can check the links in the description to get any and all up-to-date prices at the time of publishing this video. And yes, they are affiliate links because YouTube. I chose this specific pouch because of how small it is. It's roughly the same size as my iPhone 12 Pro, which just means it's easy to slide into a camera bag or camera case without really knowing it's there. And I also really like the clamshell style opening. It kind of folds out like a book, which just allows you to see everything inside of it really easily. Now, before I open this pouch up again, there actually is a exterior mesh pocket on the front of this. And I actually use that to store two different things. Excuse me while I wrestle that out. So in that front mesh pocket, I have Tylenol and face wipes. Tylenol because headaches and face wipes for just a little pick me up throughout a wedding day. We go through a lot of humid long days and having this as a pick me up when you're halfway through a, a 12 hour day is, is really nice. It's refreshing, it gets the sweat off your face and it kind of gives you that fresh out of the shower feeling that you start the day with. So I find this is just like a really nice little self-care piece to keep in the kit. And uh, I keep two of each of these because, well, I want something for my second shooter as well, if I have them around during a wedding day. Okay, now actually getting into the pouch itself, I'm gonna start with my personal favorite piece in this, and that is the Leatherman Squirt. Now this is a very, very, very tiny multi-tool. It's got pliers, scissors, a knife, a file, got a Phillips and flathead screwdriver bit. Uh, it just has a lot of really great stuff inside of it that can be very useful on a wedding day. Uh, personally, I find the scissors to be the most useful because there always seems to be a stray piece of fabric or a piece of stitching that needs to get cut. Um, maybe the groom forgot to vent his suit before the wedding day. Uh, it just gives a really precise way to help um, and again, if we're going back to that service aspect of being there on a wedding day, um, I, I find that this is just a really nice way to just be there for your couple and, uh, and help in a way that they wouldn't expect you to. Okay, so next up, let's talk about this little guy right here. This is the Night Eyes Doohickey, and it's technically like a little multi-tool thing, but I primarily use it as a bottle opener, uh, which is really great because I love to make friends at weddings and <laughs> Bottle openers are a great way to do that. It's very useful for that and also for the flathead little uh, screwdriver bit on the end of it, um, which is especially good for getting tripod plates off of cameras. Beyond that, it also has a carabiner clip, which is nice because you can attach it to a camera strap or a belt loop or something like that if you want to keep it closer on hand. Um, but yeah, a bottle opener piece is really the main reason why I keep this around uh, because it is just a very useful and relevant thing to have on a wedding day. It's also very useful to have this right here. This is Tide to Go Mini. Uh, I have watched a guest literally pour a glass of wine down the back of a bride's dress before. It was an accident and yes, it was also horrifying. And while this wouldn't actually be able to help with a stain of that size, this is great for anything smaller than that. Maybe a drop of wine gets on someone's shirt or maybe a food stain happens on someone's dress. Uh, this is just really, really helpful to almost edit that out before seeing them in the photos later. Uh, it's kind of like Photoshop, but before you actually put the photos into Photoshop. Um, so yeah, tied to go, 
great to have on hand. Uh, and I really, really enjoy having that in this kit. Okay, uh, next up is uh, this little microfiber cloth. This is just one that I got included with a moment bag that I purchased. Um, it's just very small, very discreet, uh, and it's great for cleaning my camera lenses and also my glasses throughout a wedding day. Pretty self-explanatory, moving on. This next piece is another personal favorite within this whole kit. It is a keychain flashlight. This specific one is the Nightcore Tiny 2, uh, and it is very, very small and very, very, very bright. It outputs up to 700 lumens, which no human really ever needs for anything, uh, but really all that means that it is bright enough to search through your camera case late at night, it's bright enough to help you walk to your car at the end of a wedding day, and it's also bright enough to maybe lead your couple out into the night as you're taking nighttime portraits with them. It's just good to have some extra light on hand that does not rely on the flashlight that is built into your phone. It's also rechargeable through USB-C, which I think is a really nice feature for a flashlight of this size. I also keep a handful of Band-Aids of various sizes within this kit. Uh, Band-Aids are pretty self-explanatory, but I chose these specific ones because the adhesive parts of them are clear. So if someone who happens to be in photos needs a Band-Aid, it's probably not gonna show up in the photo or at the very least has a much higher, nope, lower chance of showing up in the photos. As digital as our world might be, I really like to keep pen and paper on hand as well. I have this Pilot G2 Mini pen right here to coincide with this miniature notepad. Um, again, it's not used that often, to be honest, but if I need to take some notes about something or someone needs to sign a, a document or a check, uh, or maybe, maybe the best man is just working out some jokes right before he goes up to give his speech. It's just something that can be helpful to have just in case. Okay, so the last two things that I wanna go over inside of this kit, um, well, I, I keep them <laughs> inside of a comically oversized plastic baggie, um, which is fine. I'll find something smaller eventually. Uh, but the two things inside of this are an SD card and a $20 bill. It never hurts to have an extra SD card on hand, even if you might have more inside of your camera case. And also just having emergency cash is good for those you know, situations that are emergencies. So I keep all of that just folded up, compartmentalized inside of the plastic baggie and fold it into this back pocket. So that's everything that's actually inside the kit. Uh, but there's actually one more kind of bonus round thing that I want to include, and that is a battery bank. I didn't choose a battery bank that would fit inside of this pouch because honestly, any battery bank that's gonna be small and thin enough to fit inside of this, I honestly just don't think is worth having because it's not gonna hold that significant of a charge. And again, going back to the kind of motto of this kit is to be able to serve my clients really well. I wanna be able to have enough extra charge to you know, charge my phone, definitely, but also have enough charge for my second shooter's phone, uh, maybe for the mother of the bride or the best man or whoever it is. There's, there's plenty of opportunities to just give someone a little extra juice, um, especially if someone's speech relies on it or something like that. You just never know and everyone has a phone or an iPad that they need to be using in their day-to-day -day life and it's just good to be that person that has that extra battery power available. So there you have it. That is the whole wedding photographer EDC emergency kit pouch thing, whatever I called it in the intro, and also the bonus round battery bank. I had a really fun time making this video because I've really enjoyed EDC culture for a long time, and it was cool to be able to marry that with the wedding photography work that I do as well. Plus, I have a couple wedding photographer friends who I'm pretty sure do something like this as well. Specifically, I'm thinking about John and Benj and Joe. I have a feeling the three of you guys do something like this, and let's be honest, you probably do it better. So I would love to see you make a video about it. I think it'd be really cool to see the way that you guys work at weddings in this regard, and I would love to learn about how you guys do that. And if you're just watching this at home and you do something just like this and you think I forgot something, let me know in the comments below. I would love to learn about how other people are doing this and uh, maybe make a version two of this kit down the road with some more community sourced opinions. Until then, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.